What's up, me and more gang? It's your girl Bianca Shanice, and I'm back with a new video. So, for today's video, I will be doing an updated review and showing you all the settings I have for my Sony ZV1. If that is something that you would like to see, please stay tuned and keep on watching. So, I purchased my camera 11 months ago, it was in March of 2021. When I purchased my camera, I had the option of being able to purchase it as a bundle. So it was the Sony ZV-1 and the Vlogger Kit. I will be showing you the Vlogger Kit in a few more clips. You also have the option to purchase both of those items separately, but I just decided to purchase it together because I came out more cheaper. Also, you don't have to get the Vlogger Kit. You can purchase any type of tripod that you want. I have a full video of me unboxing it up on my channel. If you're interested, I will make sure I have it linked down below. These cameras come in two colors, white and black. As you can see, I have the white one. The camera comes with a dead cat, battery, and charging cable, as you've seen the dead cat in some previous clips ago. And basically, the dead cat helps prevent wind noise in your video. You won't hear all that noise in the background, so I do feel like it's very helpful. The Sony ZV-1 is very minimal, beginner-friendly, great for vlogging, all types of YouTube content. The Sony ZV-1, it also has an app that you can download so you can export your images and videos to your electronics. But to be honest, that app is good, but it takes so long for all your videos to export to your electronics. So I recently came across an SD card reader. You just have to take your SD card out of your camera and put it in there and plug it into whichever electronic you want to put in your phone. So this is the vlogger kit. It comes with a Bluetooth remote, tripod, a SD card. It only comes in black. It's very durable. It's sturdy. It is on the shorter side, but it will get the job done. The Sony ZV-1 has a great focus mode. It's quick. It focuses directly on you. It blurs out the background. So this clip here is just me showing you the zoom in and out feature and also the quality, the color. And also this is a 4K camera. I love my camera, the quality, the sound and how compact it is. I'm also about to show y'all a better look at how the focus looks and how it burrs out the background and it just focuses on the particular item you got the camera on. So with the zoom in and zoom out feature, it has the option for you to do a normal or fast. I keep mine on normal. And also the camera has a beauty filter where you can have the beauty on high, medium, or low. I like to keep mine on low because I don't want my face to look so filtered. I want it to look more realistic because I do have imperfections on my face. So in these next few clips are my settings. You probably would have to screen record, pause it so you can get everything that you need. I have searched so many times on YouTube to get the correct settings for my camera and I finally have found some and I just customize it to my liking so you can do the same. So from here on out, I will not be talking as much. So once you hit menu, you see the first camera at the very top where you see it as highlighted in red. This is the first page and as you can see, it's one of 12 pages and you will just scroll down and you will be able to see what my settings are. I'm going back to the top and then I will be swiping to the right then you will see 2 of 12 and I will be doing that throughout this entire settings part
This clip here, I was just showing you what I was talking about, the soft skin effect, the beauty filter. You can do high, low, or medium. So now we over here to the second camera where it's lit up in purple. So now we are at network one. Now we at playback one, which really didn't have nothing for you to change. Now we over here with a suitcase where it's lit up in yellow goldish color.
now we're to the star my menu settings and that is it for my sony zb1 camera settings i also do want to mention i forgot to mention earlier about the battery life the battery life is not so good y'all but if you are able to get multiple batteries i purchased some batteries on amazon three came in a pack and that has helped me out a lot i also want to mention too that i'm recording on my 13 pro max and the quality still looks good so just to mention you do not have to have no expensive camera to get the content that you need so with the 13 pro max it has a cinematic feature i also use that that helps blur the background out but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions on anything that i have said or done in this video please feel free to comment also please don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe and please don't forget to hit that notification button so you can get alerts when your girl posts a new video and i will see you guys in another video goodbye